Hey guys, Axe and Jack here once again. You should have seen the views on this part of the expedition. We made it to our checkpoint. We're exhausted. It was a hard climb today, but we made it. We're here Ooh, and we are tired. We're ready to rest. Well, that reminds me of Elijah. You know, last week we talked about him and how he ran for his life because he was afraid of King Ahab, but God provided for him. Well, Elijah is back. And just like my walking stick, he'll kind of be like Elijah. And Elijah made King Ahab even angrier. We'll say this tomato right here is King Ahab. So he made King Ahab even angrier than he was last week. So he was so angry like that. So what happened was Elijah went up against the prophets of Baal. They are false gods. And it was kind of like a competition. So these are like the prophets. This is Elijah serving the one true God. They're serving a fake God. Woo! And do you know who won? That's right. Elijah serving the one true God. God won. Well, that made King Ahab angry, and that made his wife, the queen, angry. And so they talked, and she wanted Elijah dead. She wanted to have him killed. And so Elijah, again, was running for his life. He was scared. On the count of three, I want you to make your most scared face. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> that looked pretty scary. Well, Elijah was scared and he ran. If you've ever been afraid, maybe you've been afraid of the dark. Maybe you've been afraid of, of you know, maybe a big thunderstorm or a bully, or maybe you've even been afraid of going to the dentist. You don't have to be because just like Elijah, God took care of him. Elijah went and found a tree and he laid down by it and he fell asleep there. And the angel came, tapped him on the shoulder and said, wake up Elijah, well wake and eat. But he didn't bring any food. He didn't have anything with him to eat. The angel had made him food. He baked bread over a nice fire. So it was nice, fresh, warm bread to eat. Mm. And the angel brought him a jug of water to be able to drink. That was so refreshing to him. It was wonderful. So he ate, he drank, he felt really good. And then he fell asleep again after he ate. And the angel came back a second time, tapped him on the shoulder again, said, Elijah, wake up and eat. Again, the angel had made him fresh, bread and gave him some water to drink. So the second time Elijah ate and the angel told him that the journey ahead was going to be really tough and he needed this bread and this water to be able to make the journey ahead. It's amazing to see how God provided for Elijah. He gave him food, he gave him water, he gave him rest and that was so good and that was just what Elijah needed because he was afraid for his life, he was scared but God took care of him. Remember that God can take care of you even when you're afraid or you're scared of things like thunderstorms or a bully. Remember that God will take care of you just like he did for Elijah. Well, what was gonna come next really is a cliffhanger. So make sure you stay tuned. Ugh. And until next time, I'm Axe and Jack. Good night. Ugh.